afternoon all of you adnan good afternoon ma'am good afternoon good afternoon ma'am good afternoon so let us continue with our uh, uh, data handling uh, we, we have drawn bar graph and double bar graph next we are going to study about histogram okay Ma'am, only eight participants are there. Okay. Before going to histogram, let us discuss about grouping of data. Grouping of data. The grouping of data means suppose we are collecting the marks of eight standard students from three sec uh, sections. Three sections A, B, C. Okay. So what you did first, you go to the classes or you collect the uh, list of marks uh, prepared by the teachers. Either from the office you can collect or teach if teachers uh, have that uh, marks, you can collect from teachers or you can ask uh, the children directly what is your marks. You can uh, write and collect. The data first we already collected, the data first we collected is known as raw data. Okay. Yes. No. Okay, so the, the data collected, the, the, the data available to uh, uh, us in an unorganized form is known as raw data. We just collected the data. We didn't uh, organize anything or we didn't arrange. We didn't arrange the data. We just collected the data from uh, each students we asked and we uh, write the write their names and we wrote their names and we wrote their marks also such a data is known as a raw data so you write the heading as organizing data write the heading as organizing the data heading organizing the data Organizing the data heading. Then write the data available in the data the data available in an unorganized form called raw data. Write that. The data available in an unorganized form called raw data. We just collected the data, only that. We didn't have any uh, arrangement or any classification. We just collected the data. The data available in an unorganized form called raw data. I'm sure this. Right? The data available in an unorganized form is called raw data. Ma'am. Uh, yes. Ma'am, is this book the NCRT textbook? It is NCRT. Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yes. Yes, Shivanya, it is NCRT. Okay. So, uh, after collecting the raw data, what we will do? We will classify the given data suppose if it is marks how can we classify first we will classify the number of children who failed or passed or we can uh, classify the marks lies between 0 to 10 and marks uh, lies between uh, 10 to 20 or we can choose marks less than uh, 20 marks less than 40 less than 15 that was many way we can arrange the given data such uh, arrangements are known as classification such arrangements are known as classification of data for that classification of data we need to prepare a table we need to prepare a table for classifying the data such a table is known as frequency table or frequency distribution table frequency table or frequency distribution I can table. The, 
nothing is there in the last uh, last slide i am just explaining okay so the ma'am organizing you wait uh, the data we are collecting first we are classifying into different groups and we we can uh, arrange that data in the form of a table such a table is known as such a table is known as frequency distribution table frequency distribution table and what is frequency frequency is the number of times a an item is repeating here suppose we are collecting a data uh, say mark 25 eight eight students got 25 here eight means eight times the mark 25 is repeating so 8 is the frequency of 25 8 means the mark 25 is repeating eight times that eight is known as frequency the number of times a particular data is repeating it is known as it is known as frequency of that particular data frequency of that particular data number of times a data is repeating is known as frequency 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 gives the number of times that a particular entry particular entry occurs suppose we are collecting the marks suppose uh, the mark 17 nine students got 17 mark so here nine is the frequency of 17 which means 17 the mark 17 is repeating nine times it is known as frequency when we prepare a table which is mentioning the frequency and the data is known as frequency distribution table and for preparing that frequency distribution table we need to use tally marks which we you have already studied in last year isn't it hmm? yes, tally sure. mark you yes, have sure. studied in last year that so what is data the data available in an unorganized form is called the raw data the whatever the data we are collected for the first time the data we are collected for the first time is called the raw data after collecting the raw data what we are doing we are arranging that in some particular manner mentioning the frequency of each entry mentioning the frequency of each entry and frequency is the number of times a entry repeats that is known as frequency when we prepare the data in terms of uh, uh, entries or their frequency that table is known as frequency distribution table and for finding frequency distribution table we are using tally marks method also Okay, we are using tally mark method. So write. Um, I will say what you have to write. So you, you write uh, about raw data. Next point. In order to draw. Next point. In order to first you wrote about a raw data. Now you can. In order to. draw in order to draw meaning meaningful or in order uh, in order to draw meaningful meaningful studies draw meaningful studies we need to arrange the data systematically we need to arrange the data systematically the number of times the
number of times a particular entry occurs entry a particular entry occurs occurs is called frequency underline that frequency very important term frequency Learn what is after data systematically. Data systematically. Systematically. We need to arrange the data systematically. Ma'am, this tally marks table we have to draw. Oh, wait, wait, I will explain. You have to draw, wait. Ma'am, only this should be right. Okay. After that, I will explain. After that, you can write. Over? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now all of you listen here. Here, some marks are given. Marks of class 8. <laughs> marks of mathematics by 60 students. Marks obtained by uh, 60 students in mathematics is given. Given is the marks obtained by 60 students in mathematics. 20, 10, 30, 22, 33, 5, 37 marks are given. What we need to do? We are arranging this data in a particular manner. Each, it is, we are dividing, uh, uh, grouping the given data. We are going to group the students. How? First, we will group 0 to 10. Those who got marks between 0 and 10. That will be a group. And we count how many students got marks between 0 to 10. And it will be a group. Another group, 10 to 20. Between 10 and 20, how many students are there having marks between 10 and 20? That will be another group. In this way, we are grouping the given marks, given data, we are grouping. How? 0 to 10, 0 to 10. 10 to 20 in this way we are grouping and we will write the number of students suppose 8 8 means there are 8 students who has mark between 0 and 10 if this is 3 there are 3 students who got marks between 10 and 20 and this is known as frequency this is known as frequency and these groups these groups are known as Class interval. Class interval. So, using the class intervals, we are grouping the given data into different groups or different classes. Here, we will use it as different classes. Different classes. And corresponding to each class, we can find the frequency. Corresponding to each class, we will find the frequency and for each class suppose the class 0 to 10 0 to 10 this 0 is known as lower class limit lower class limit and 10 is known as upper class limit 
lower class limit and upper limit class so 10 to 20 for the class 10 to 20 what is lower class limit 10 10 10 is the lower limit either you can say lower limit or lower class limit and 20 is upper, upper limit. limit or upper class, class limit. limit and the difference between uh, the 20, uh, 20 and 10 that is the gap of this what is the gap between 10 here also the gap difference between 20 and 10 and suppose 20 to 30 30 to 40 here also the difference is same 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 that interval is known as class width or the class limit class width means okay, just just call it as class width or class size class width class width or class size okay we'll explain once again all these things mm -hmm. one second <clears throat> okay children so what we what we discussed we discussed the given data can be grouped into different classes class or class intervals data can be grouped into class intervals and the class interval has the form 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 this form these are known as right no, these are known as lower class limit. Lower class limit. And these 10, 20, 30 are upper class limit. Upper class limit. And the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit. That is 10 minus 0 or 20 minus 10 difference between the difference between upper class limit and lower class limit is known as class width or class size class width or class class size understood up to this what is a class what is class uh, limits that is upper limit and lower limit and class width okay I will give the notes in a second. Now write all of you. <clears throat> right a note the the color the raw data right the raw data ma'am this can, is the next point ah, next point can <laughs> be divided into groups into groups can be divided into groups can be divided into groups two groups the table which shows the table which shows which shows grouped three Group the classes and the free corresponding frequencies. The groups or classes also, or classes. Groups or classes. The table which shows class intervals, class intervals, and their corresponding frequencies.
corresponding frequencies is called is called grouped frequency distribution table grouped frequency distribution table frequency distribution table underline that grouped frequency distribution table grouped frequency grouped frequency distribution table grouped frequency distribution table grouped frequency distribution grouped frequency distribution table examples example 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 examples for class intervals example for class this is class class this also class all these are classes each class and 0 is Lower class limit. Lower class limit. Ten is upper class limit. This is also lower limit. Then you should write this here. Ah, right. Upper limit. This is lower limit. Lower limit and upper limit. The difference between upper limit and lower limit is called width. The difference between The difference between lower class, upper class limit and and lower class limit, upper class limit and limit is called called class width or class size or class size Yes, ma'am. 
Next, we will, uh, we will prepare a uh, grouped frequency distribution table. So write as the first question. The marks obtained by first question. The marks. Graph. No, not in a graph. Here, not itself. The marks obtained by. I'm gonna show One second. The marks obtained by sixty students in mathematics. is given below is given below prepare a grouped frequency distribution table prepare prepare a group. graph no not in graph grouped frequency distribution distribution table prepare a grouped frequency distribution table now marks will be i will show the marks Prof, you write the question. The marks obtained by 60 students in mathematics is given below. Prepare a grouped frequency distribution table. Now, the marks are, write the marks as, here is the marks. These are the marks. 21, 10. Can you see the marks? Yes. Oh. Yes, ma'am. That full mark. Of all 60 marks are there. Six zero. There are 60 students. So their marks 21, 10. I'm going to zoom it. Again, it's, uh, it cannot zoom. If you want, I will read the marks. Okay? Do you want? Hmm? Need to read? Ma'am, can you read? I will read. I will read only once. If I'm repeating the same number, you have to write again. Two marks. If I, if I read 21, again 21 means there are two 21. Okay? Understood? Huh? Okay. If, if you want, I will read. Anybody want? No, ma'am. No. If anybody want, I will read. I'm going to question. Write the data first. Question I'll show you. There must be 60 marks. Abhinav, do you have an NCR textbook with you, Abhinav? Ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma I have written. Which, book you have? Which book you have? Abhinav, which book do you have? Am I think it's NCRT. You don't know which book you do you have? It 
this uh, NCRT book, page 72, this question is there. You take your NCRT books, you can see. Always keep your textbook with you so that you can write easily. And which question my net was gone? 72 page, take page 72. Um, I have 60 numbers. I counted. Okay. Page 72. Last page 72. Last. Ma'am. Not, not a question, it's like an example. These numbers are the. Yes. Ma'am. Ma'am, can you show the points that you wrote before? Two uh, points. Better, better, Michelle, not two. We have written some, some more points. Uh, you do one thing after the class, you ask anybody to send because otherwise you won't, won't get the uh, points in an order. It is better. Um, uh, I need only the points of the, the, uh, the raw data can be divided into groups or classes. Raw data can be divided into... Ma'am, the points which you wrote on the left side. Ma'am, mm. ma'am, now why we are not having tutorial class? And I wrote up to uh, yesterday it was four class ten and not ten eight B. Yesterday I took class for eight B, and uh, two days I have uh, exam duty for tenth. That's why uh, not two day. One day I didn't take the class tutorial session. That time I have tenth exam duty. I got. Okay. okay so next uh, tenth B over next days. That is tomorrow yours. Okay. And for tutorial session, I think uh, you no need of doing this data handling. We will do the same chapter. Uh, which ma'am, linear equation. Linear equation we will do. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Because this this is very simple chapter. No, we will do that same chapter. I can't hear you properly. Who who's this? Ma'am, Adnan. My network. I have network issues. Uh, no problem, Adnan. We are. I will. Uh, we are doing everything on the board. No. And somebody wants the question. This is what this was the question. Ma'am, can Mark. you say again? It's the question. Yeah, if here you... is the question. See, it is on the board. The marks obtained by 60 students in mathematics is given below. Prepare a group the frequency distribution table. Question is there on the board. Okay, ma'am. And for preparing the uh, first of all, we have to divide the given data into classes. For that. Let us check what is the least mark and what is the highest mark. What was the least mark here? Uh, zero. Yeah, zero is there. No. Seven. 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 And Seven. highest Seven. mark we notice uh, maximum mark. Uh, maximum of uh, five. 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 five is the least mark. Five is the least mark. Where is it? Uh, ma'am, five is it? Ma'am, first 21, 10, 30, 22, 33, five, yes, five. five is there, five is there. And highest mark is 55. Uh, no, what is the highest mark? 51 is there, I think. Highest mark? Ma'am, highest uh, mark 50, is 50, 50, 50. 50. So, okay, out of 50, out of 50. So, we can take the groups as either you can take... 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20 that way. Or you can choose, uh, sometimes in the question itself they are given, choose the class as 0 to 10, 10 to 20. They will give the classes. First class they will give. So in that, nothing is there. Wait. So in that order we have to take. If it is given in that order you can take. Otherwise you can choose either, either 5 to 10, 10 to 20, uh, 10 to 15, 15 to 20 that way or 0 to 10 10 to 20 in that way here we will take 0 to 10 classes okay so let us I'm so first class is 0 to 10 0 to 10 so okay. let us start doing
first one the cl classes first is class then one can do the question on spot one second tally mark tally mark then frequency this ma'am should we write this yes Not I'm sure we did this no. graph. No, 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 not in a graph. And we have to draw a table, right? Ah, uh, table, table. Where is my table? It has gone somewhere. Ah, uh, this. Uh, you have to draw the tables. Need table because question um, is pre prepare frequency distribution table. Draw the table. One can you show the questions once more. One second, one second, please. Okay. It is in the notes, right? Notes, notes in the notes, not in a graph book. In the notes. So classes we decide we will take like of zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. Thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, fifty to sixty. Fifty to sixty. Now putting tally mark, you know, isn't it? First, yes, first mark yes, is twenty-one. Twenty-one is will be there in which class? Twenty-one. Twenty-one will be there and in which class? Twenty-two, twenty-two, thirty. Twenty-two, thirty. So you we will put one. Then ten. Ten is ten. In which class we will write ten? Hmm? We ten, have ten, two ten. ten. Zero ten. to ten and ten to twenty. Where we will write ten? In which ten class? Ten to twenty. Ten to twenty. Ten to twenty. Where that number appears as a lower limit. Okay. If the uh, upper limits and lower limits comes as our data. We will write that where it will appears as a lower limit. Here, ten appears as a lower limit in second class, ten to twenty. Understood how to mark? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, so you do it, and all of you uh, write put the tally marks. And somebody wants the question. Who wants the question, Adnan? Who needs the question? Uh, Michelle, you want this uh, question or the data? What do you want? Ma'am, the question. Question. Okay. Ma'am, our time is at two and fourteen. Uh, write the question. That is, okay. Okay. Can you prepare this that uh, table, putting the tally marks? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And we will try. You try, and we will discuss in the next period. Write the question. Okay. Time is up, ma'am. Forty till forty. Okay. Ah, over. So, children, try to complete that table. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Bye.